I'm Scott Kuhner from MTron Australia and welcome to SEMA 2024. New for this year at SEMA 2024, we have the VC10M. The VC10M is a touchscreen based 10.2 inch screen vehicle control unit and it basically handles all of the aspects of the vehicle. So electric windows, power steering, torque management, RPM limit, traction control, they can do launch control, pretty much anything that you allow them to do and it's handled by like a user interface, very easy to use and you can just move your finger all over the screen and you can make changes as per necessary. The screen idea really come from like modern vehicles. So most modern vehicles now have interface systems pretty much exactly the same as what we've developed for the car. We met the, the guys at Rossbeed in 2023 at PRI show. We come up with an agreement and, and then we started developing the project for them. This Corvette, it's really not a Corvette. It's a completely custom made car. It's designed for low volume production. All the electronics are all Mtron components. So existing products, including the new VC10M. It has an ED10M dash that we uh, released uh, two years ago at SEMA. It has a KV16, it has an eight-way keypad. All of those systems all integrate with each other and communicate. So they more or less all know what each other's doing. In conjunction with ED10M, we've now at SEMA 2024, we released the ED7 and the ED7M. The ED7 is a 34-way super seal connector. It's got exactly the same brains, I guess you would call it, as the ED10M. It's just limited by the connector system. The ED7M has a mil-spec connector, 55-pin uh, mil-spec connector. That is more or less the same thing as an ED10M, just a smaller screen. Still high res, all the functionality, everything the same except for the size. The seven's primarily based for like race cars where they don't need a, like a large screen in front of them. And also it's, it's useful for fitment cases where an ED10M just won't fit. There's quite a lot of demand for that and, and hence why we released it this year. Shadow 8 at SEMA 2024 as well. It's a, our entry level ECU. It's a 68 pin connector. Uh, it's USB communications. You may call it a, a stripped down version of our more premium grade ECUs. It's designed more for engine projects that don't require as much you know, IO as say our KV base, which is our flagship ECU. But it's still very powerful and comes in at a more competitive price. The difference mainly between say our KV range and the new Shadow 8 range, pin count's a huge difference. The KV8's a 120 pin connector ECU. The Shadow 8's a 68 pin. Less hardware in there for advanced functionality. It can't do peak and hold injector driver, for example. It doesn't have oscilloscope functionality built in. It has 16 mega logging, so it's less logging than the bigger ECU has. But ultimately, it's not limited in any way in firmware, so as long as the pin count suits your application, you won't notice any like less effects of, of the running of the engine than you would from our, our, our top ECUs.